I was doing some uh, just process work, routine process work, and I really advocate some self-reflective work uh, a couple times a month. And I asked myself three questions, which I wrote the answers down to, and I want to share them with you now. Uh, One of them really surprised me. Maybe it'll surprise you too. And obviously you could have learned hundreds of great lessons by now, but for the sake of efficiency, three is nice when you're doing a review. And the first one, the the first great lesson that I feel I've really learned and I took it into my soul is most people are truly eight years old inside. They really have an active eight-year-old living and breathing in them. And if that eight-year-old is is healthy and happy, running, playing, skipping, that's not an issue. Uh, The issue is uh, you will come across many people with a wounded eight-year-old inside and they may never do the work to to heal, to heal that uh, wounded aspect, that wounded child, and it really does impair their functioning in life as as an adult. And I think understanding this lesson really, uh, as I said, taking it into my soul and doing so much work on myself and healing within has made me a much more a kinder person, more compassionate more clear, more focused. I can say this about the people that you will meet in life. And I made a video a couple of weeks ago called The Inner Workings of People Are Strange. Well, that is true, but I think the inner workings of people are can be very, very strange if they've never stopped to to examine themselves. And so just understanding that Everything that you see, everything that people do or don't do is just because of their life walk and their their life experience. It is not to excuse it when someone has bad behavior, has done something to hurt or upset you. But I find simply just just knowing in, in my soul, there is really a reason for this. And if you could track the trajectory of their life, it's likely uh, some damage that was done very early on and simply has not been dealt with or corrected. The second greatest lesson that I've learned is I have a tremendous amount of power to shape outcomes and so do you. So do you. So as I've uh, become more in touch with the power of a smile, the power of tone of voice, the power of forgiveness, the power of bringing humor into a certain situation, the power of letting go all these superpowers that you have have so much um, sway and authority in your life and the lives of others to really impact outcomes. I've seen people lose business deals because they have a bad attitude. They got up in the morning feeling a certain way and couldn't uh, hadn't disciplined themselves to rein that in. I've seen people lose relationships because they did not uh, cultivate and activate their superpower of communication. So uh, understanding the the power and influence you have in your own life and the lives of others is huge. And my third, my third greatest lesson to date is angels are real. Angels are real and love to help us and see us progress. And, you know, to an extent, I think there's so much to know about spirituality and and life. And, you know, many people claim, oh, I have this answer. I have that answer. I would never claim that I have all the answers for myself or for anyone else. I can only speak through my life experiences. And when I say what I know for sure, it is based on what I know for myself, for sure, having lived it, breathed it, experienced it, is there are angels available for us. And all we need to do is is call on them. As I've grown in my spiritual walk, I see and understand deeply the necessity of the spiritual anchors and spiritual help that is available because this world is... Can, can, it's beautiful, it's lovely, but it can also get very ugly and complex because we are surrounded with a lot of what I call rogue energy. Everyone is not on a, a self-awareness or, or, or a conscious walk. 
And when you get tangled up in that, you're not always going to be able to to see that clearly or or take that journey alone. We have mountains of help available to us. Yes, one way to access that is through prayer. Another way to access that is to just call on your supports, call on the angels. I thought it was so, so complicated when I really started to take a deeper dive into this work because I had read books and the people who were on the lecture circuits just made it seem like, you know, jump through hoops and all this. And it's not. It is sitting over a cup of coffee it in your car, whatever, and asking for the help asking for the insights, asking for the comfort. If you can't, you know, if this situation cannot change, I'd love it to change. But can you help raise my vibration? Talk to your angels, help raise my vibration so I can feel differently about the situation. And there is not a time, there's never a time that 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 prayer, that that, that, that ask is, is not answered in some shape, form, or fashion. And these, these are the things for my life's journey that I know for sure. I invite you to write down what you know, what you know for sure at this point in your uh, self-awareness and reflection session for this month. Thanks so much. This has been Inspirational Shorts by Sheila. I'll connect with you soon.